Hello and welcome back to this Medal of Honor Airborne Let's Play. Here I'm picking my equipment for this mission and I'm going for uh, the MP40 and the Springfield Sniper Rifle. Uh, during the loading screens you can see details of the enemy units that enemy infantry you will encounter, starting from the Italian infantry. Friendly fire incident was actually uh, an interstitial event when uh, an out vessel opened fire on the 144 cargo planes that transmitted the bird troopers to their targets. Uh, all the added plane opened fire following this event and the 23 planes were shot down. Here I'm landing on the roof of the town hall and failing my landing as I tried to uh, do grease landing. Luckily, uh, the Italian infantry does not take advantage of his failure and I can proceed to clear the area. Uh, you'll notice that I get this commendation extremely fast because, because in fact um, during, I didn't test play through and I managed to get some experience on those weapons that carried over to this uh, mission to work, to the mission to start. You'll see the same on the Springfield uh, rifle. A little close call here, but we are fine. Keep an eye out on the uh, radar to the bottom left. This is going to friend from foe. It's very useful, especially uh, when you're about to clear a room. Here it's a friendly unit I just landed. And it seems we are clear. Stick to clear. And I'm just checking out the angle to see if there's any remaining foe, but we're, uh, we're in the clear here. Now, first instance of uh, Travis do everything. Since we'll always be the one uh, doing the uh, special stuff like the string objective, we'll clear them out. If you have played through Math 2, uh, you may find some similarities between this town hall and the one, the first mission of the prologue of Math 2, since it consists of a Math 2 of clearing a town hall uh, from Italian infantry and pushing back to German counter attack. Uh, here, um, here I'm reloading uh, with the uh, war I got, means I can draw reload very fast. I have two clips uh, stick together with the tape, which makes for a fast reload and allows me to uh, take out my enemies. As you can see, I just reloaded here. Taking a bit of health because that was a close goal. And back to the action. As you will uh, often notice in the game, sometimes uh, your allies love to stand in your way and you miss a shot. Just making sure uh, everything's clear here. Another recommendation, I see, uh, as you can see, we go pretty fast. And we awarded the 64 round magazine, making uh, the MP40 evil. Uh, the weapon with the largest uh, ammo capacity. I thought I saw someone here, so I just opened the fire. But... Uh, you may notice those are iron crosses and not swastika. I don't really, I really don't care much. Ah! 
as you can see, this is a, looking like a pretty defendable position with a lot of sandbags, a lot of cover for the uh, me uh, to try and do a frontal assault. We're now proceeding to the second objective and one of the gates of the, of the city of the dam. A bit of sniping here. You have a variable zoom, it means you can increase the zoom in, for some accurate shots. Here, I'm just minimum zoom. And I'm holding my breath here. You'll sometimes see me uh, jump just before when I was zooming. It's because they are bound to the same key. I'm holding my breath. Nice head shot here. Here I'm zooming to a target. As you can see, the spring is powerful enough to drop any enemy infantry in one shot uh, at this range. I'm here and picking up grenades. Grenades are very useful, as you'll see. And uh, also, but as you can maybe have noticed, uh, the enemy doesn't seem to throw grenades this, uh, this time. It's because we're facing a very low, low skill enemy, the Italian infantry, uh, who does not throw grenades. They also tend to love grabbing those MG inflatables, so always keep an eye out for them. I'll always love the sound that uh, Ron makes when he goes through the helmet. No. Always take your time when you snipe because um, you can miss pretty easily. Again, pretty easily. Here I'm trying out the uh, Colt 45. You can see it's pretty powerful, pretty loud, but very inaccurate. A grenade is a perfect weapon to clear an enemy on placement. As I said, mentioned before, normally you'd start out by uh, reloading bullet by bullet the uh, strength fail, but since I've got an early upgrade, I can reload with a clip. Here I'm trying to make a quick snapshot, but keep on missing. I'm not very, I'm very good sniper, but here we go. Headshot. Yeah, enemies at short range tend to rush you to do some melee, which can stun lock you a bit. It's very annoying with a quick burst and you really take care of it. Trying to vary a bit of a weapon here. Not always using the uh, MP40. Which is a very good weapon nonetheless. It's a bit of a game. It's really, it's really accurate. Control point and burst. Okay, I'm trying to figure out the next move. I'm waiting for my allies to t draw fire and then rush in to flank the enemy. Using this flag on the second floor. You can see the 64 uh, round magazine will only to fire for quite a while without loading. Yeah, the Colt 45 is pretty useful if you aim down the iron sights, but otherwise, as you'll see in a bit, you just uh, can't seem to hit anything uh, when you use it uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the hip. You may have noticed too that there is a uh, trail smoke when you fire a sniper which can help you um, find an enemy sniper around when you try to do some sniping, counter sniping. Yeah. Aiming for an easy uh, torso kill. Yeah, took me uh, like a full clip to uh, kill this enemy, uh, whereas uh, if I had aimed, it would have been a quick kill. Another uh, egg and goes down. I'm at full health and got some munition still. 
I picked up the car 98 just to make some uh, some changes in my equipment and to show you the different weapon of the game which are your usual World War II weapons mostly I might uh, speed this up later on if you want. Here I was uh, expecting this, but somehow this uh, Alipara Trooper managed to take care of the free Titan Surrounding. It was a quick shot for us to the right. Here I was checking out my munitions, see if I needed to restock. All is good. Come on, man! Keep an eye out for those eye ties! Some pretty bad aiming on my part here. But nonetheless, it helped suppress the enemy. Which let this daring paratrooper move forward and clear on the air wreck. Yeah, enemy reaction times are still pretty slow. This will uh, decrease as we, as we go further in the game and uh, more elite units uh, are trying against us. As you can see, I'm, I'm reloading uh, bullet by bullet here since I do not have any upgrade on the car right here. It's tedious, and as you'll see, it doesn't always drop you in a mean one shot to me. You often have to fire two rounds to take care of them. Pretty close to here again, but it's time to go back to some health. There. Look at the other one nearby. Back into the action. Uh, the wide pursuits you might see in the round are uh, skill drop points that uh, can uh, some kind of secrets you can find in the games. Uh, if the audience want, I can try to uh, show them all. But since I'm not dying, I'm not dying very often. I can't do many uh, drops in this one. This might change later in the game. Here, an example of what you shouldn't do: reloading before checking out your radar. That guy could have easily killed me and then quicker for the trigger. Going for his fly. Usually you always find the um, overpowered troopers here to uh, just drop and by waiting for you to uh, help you out. We're back in action with lots of ammo and full health. I switch to the Thompson. As you can see, it has a lot of recoil. It's not very manageable at the moment, so um, in a few upgrades, it will be a much better weapon. I can't see anything, that's why I keep on missing. That kind of uh, mistakes will be costly later on. But since this, uh, these tanks really have poor aim, it's manageable. Here I know there are always two guys uh, hiding in this hotel room, so a little grenade does the job. And now for the last day again. Hey, Worth, go tell the CO we got this one. Sir, Sergeant Sensor's requesting reinforcements ASAP! Christ, we're spread thin as it is. Okay, you and Travers go, I'll hold here. I can't stand sensor anyway. On to our next objective. Come on, Travers! We gotta 
Dentu is secured. All airborne forces within range of this transmission. Be advised that we have a, a bit of backtracking here through the through the town. All units receiving this signal are ordered to proceed to that area to relieve and reinforce. This is the stopping part of the town, but I'm getting a bit lost, so I backtrack to the town square. So dropping up the balcony is the quickest way out. And through the north gate. As you can see when I'm fighting uh, German infantry, Africa, the African Corps, they are step up from the Italian infantry, they can throw grenades, move some to better cover, so uh, definitely improvement. They can still do dumb things like uh, popping off cover, just in the my sight. As you can see, the German soldier uh, has a sudden attraction for MG42 and uh, pops up after the cover. And some of the soldiers like to rush for and fall close combat in melee. Switching to the M1 Galen, which I prefer, since it's a semi automatic and a much better weapon overall than the Car 98. As this in this game. At the bottom right corner of the screen, you might notice sometimes indicators and uh, shows when you do headshots or do multiple kills, like uh, a small helmet or uh, a free, a um, low number three on the bottom right. For a bit of health, we couldn't find any, so uh, we'll have to be cautious. Luckily, there's only one German left. Only a few. And the characteristic sound of the M1 uh, M10. Uh, since it's the middle of a new game, you can't reload uh, on one clip if the clip isn't empty. Time somebody showed up. Stay clear of the window. There's a sniper across the way. He got Harding there. Thinks he got us both. He's been on the radio for reinforcements. You're gonna have to take the shot. Take Harding Springfield. Damn. He's got through. The Germans are moving in. They're trying to retake the town. Hurry. Like Here uh, should be our first introduction to sniping. Here I'm leaning and using uh, cover systems. Missing my first shot. As you can see the glint of the lens here helping you in see the enemy. Bit of a cheap uh, trick of the game here. Dead right in the eye. Again, some backtracking all the way back to the town square. And some Germans pop out, out of nowhere. Again, using cover, sometimes it's a bit finicky. You, you can actually pop out uh, Germans uh, just showing a little bit of themselves out of cover. Very useful.
One German left. Not taking any chances. Grenade behind a couple back. He managed to survive, but he doesn't escape a short burst on the top. Team. This friendly is waiting for you. The game is heavily scripted. Here I'm not going for the direct approach, rather going through some back alleys. Find some light uh, Italian infantry again. Yeah, I was expecting some enemies, but uh, the area is clear, so I can proceed forward. Still being very cautious, since uh, I've been alive for so long, so no, I don't want to mess up. Immediately entering the town hall cellar, the script activates, and uh, enemies will pop up. Here we have a German officer. Uh, third grade enemy, I believe. Pretty bad throw, but second grenade should take care of Some melee here, so you, you can see why I'm trying to retreat when I see an enemy rushing forward with me. Better safe than sorry. Your allies um, are pretty useful, and if you advance, they'll follow up with you and take care of some uh, Nazis. And now we're back again, clearing the town hall for a second time. From the bottom up this time. Enemy down. Here I go, Travers. Wish me luck. Yeah, I was taking the red, but couldn't see anyone, so I went upstairs. You can see a lot of enemies are up out there. Germans again, but um, they have two sides of the fan uh, moving faster than they can. Here, a really bad look on the throw since it bounced off a uh, man like helmet. You can actually kick grenade if you are close enough. I'll try to show that later. Taking care of his third German uh, officer. Stick grenade, you, know, you, can, you can carry a lot of grenades. There are three grenade types in the game. You can carry uh, five grenades at the start of each. Jeremy seems a little bit confused. Here again, the um, flash, muzzle flash can blind me and can do some proper aiming. And there realized that I had left an officer downstairs, so I went back. Threw a grenade. Ooh, time perfectly. And here we're done with the mission. Colonel Scott Webb, commanding officer, this is the after action report for the 82nd Airborne. July 11th, 1943. Landed at 22.30 hours under heavy fire. Airborne troops destroyed all enemy AAA emplacements in and around Adanti. Village and its environs were cleared and secured. Enemy currently retreating to the north. This operation, the first combat jump for our division, was decisive, but costly. The war has begun. Made it soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you soon in Operation Avalanche. Here are some rewards you can get. And the skill points, are in the, there are always five uh, drop points to find in each mission. Thank you!